Look, relate to you, I can't if you's a fake nigga. When level four in the state, what your mistakes get you? I called it a mixtape, but for all necessary purposes, it's an album. It's all original music, you know what I'm saying? It was um, recorded for an album. It wasn't like my intentions was to make a mixtape, but the fact we gave it away free, that's why we called it a mixtape. My intention for the project was, um, you know, to kick off the conversation again leading into Victory Lap. I changed it from Victory Lap being a mixtape to actually being my debut album. So um, I wanted to set it up with Crenshaw. Okay. And, you know, based on how we ended up promoting and marketing it, it got a, it caught flame just in terms of like the marketing aspect of it. People was real interested in talking to us about the idea, the $100 concept and everything. And so like, I think it exceeded what my expectations were. Most of the time, when the rain is start pouring, but how we grind it made the weather change. The CD doubles as um, access to a secret concert that you can't buy tickets to. It's going to be called the Proud to Pay concert. And um, everybody who bought a copy of the CD is going to have access to the, to the concert. Nobody's going to be able to get in unless they bought the CD. And also, you know, as we go on in my career, those thousand people, we're going to continue to like give them priority. For example, we're going to let them hear the album before the people get to hear the album. We're going to be doing random mail outs where we send, you know, like one of my old rap notebooks from when I was 16. I'm going to sign it and I'm going to send it out. Halfway through it, you know, I got to see how much publicity it was getting, how the people was excited, my fans, how they was lining up, you know, in the middle of the day. Like it was like a Jordan release, or like a Star Wars type of thing. And I'm like, you know, these dudes, these people and these girls, they, they making history and they, you know, they being a part of history. It was the first time it was done in recorded music, not even just hip hop. And I wanted to, I wanted to like extend, you know, the, the benefit of them doing that. You know, I got thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of followers, but you know, who knows how many of them is making purchases and are engaged to the point that they support us. So the ones that did come out and, and pay the premium price, I want to reward that consistently throughout the rest of my career. I'm off this red bull. I got a head full. A nigga stressed out. That's I didn't get a chance to speak to Jay personally, you know, via his company and the people that represent, you know, Rock Nation. They kind of expressed how he felt about it. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to just express my gratitude, you know, through the media. Everybody's influenced by Jay Z and how much he means to hip hop. So I just thought it was dope that he co-signed what we was doing and acknowledged it. 